Chris Hansen at the White House, thank you so much. I want to bring in former Ambassador Mark Ginsburg, former White House Mideast Policy Advisor. Ambassador, good morning. Good morning, Jose. The Saudis may be upset about the Iran negotiations, but skipping the summit seems pretty dramatic. Well, guess who's not coming to dinner at Camp David? Boy, that really is a snub no matter how you characterize it, Jose. And the fact of the matter is, is that this goes back to much more fundamental issues. There's a perception within the kingdom, with a new king and with a new foreign minister who is the former ambassador here, that the uh, United States is basically turning the keys of the kingdom literally over to Iran. Uh, Iran has seized vessels in the Straits of Hormuz. It has escalated support for Hamas. It has provided more support uh, in, for the Iraqi regime. The Saudis and its allies feel encircled by a U.S. foreign policy that, is, that it feels more or less is abandoning them. Ambassador, the, the Saudis are actually then stepping in to this void they feel exists. Is this a positive development in the Middle East? Well, it all depends because in the end, for example, in its fight with the Houthi rebels in Yemen, the United States is the ultimate loser here because we've lost our major base of operations against al-Qaeda. And even though we've provided intelligence support to the Saudi Air Force, the Saudis are having a hell of a time being able to beat the Houthi rebels. And more importantly, the Saudis feel that this Iran nuclear negotiation is, as you said in your lead up, going to provide an enormous amount of money for Iran to play mischief in the Middle East against the Saudis. 